If you are a happy Chromebook user, you have probably wondered how to restore your Chrome OS to factory settings. So in this video, I will show you how to do it. So what you will need is a working laptop with operating system installed on it. You will need a pen drive, like this one. Just any normal USB pen drive will do. And what you have to do right now is to go to Google and here type Netware Cloud Ready Download USB. This will show you the Cloud Ready Home Edition website. where you can uh, download the, the USB maker. So we're clicking on download USB maker. Now save this. And once saved, open it. And this is the software that you can use to install the Chrome OS, which is actually the Cloud Ready Chrome OS. Cloud Ready is the same thing as Chrome OS, but that's just made for general usage. It's not branded by Google. It's just a standalone OS that you can install on any laptop to make it a Chromebook. So now, as it says, we need 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes USB stick and we need about 20 minutes for USB installer creation so I've got my USB stick over here let's plug that in so USB stick is now plugged in And now we can click on next and now it's asking you what kind of uh, version you would like to install if your laptop is something like pentium 4 or even older please use 32-bit version because that's for all the laptops and for all the processors if you've got anything like quad core or you've got uh, i3 i5 i7 class processor just you feel free to use the 64-bit uh, version because that's what it's uh, meant for. That's that's how it's uh, how the system is built. So now we'll click on next because I've got my Lenovo and it's uh, got i3 processor in it. So let's click on next. And here is the drive selection screen. So I can go and check my. USB stick and next and now the installer is downloading cloud ready so it's basically going to the internet is downloading the image and once this image will be downloaded it will flash it on my USB drive so I'll be able to go to my Chromebook and on my Chromebook I'll be able to install cloud ready from this USB drive right so I'll just start the video for now and I'll continue once this will get downloaded. Now the image is extracted. And now it's creating our cloud ready USB installer. So it tells that this process might take up to 20 minutes. So let's wait. I can see that my pen drive is uh, flashing. So that means that operating system is getting installed on it. Right, so my image is now flashed on the USB drive. So I'll just finish the installation process and get my uh, USB drive out. 
so I can move it to uh, my Lenovo laptop. And I'll just take my pen drive and pull it into my Chromebook. So it's now inside my Chromebook. And let's have a look how our new operating system is looking. First thing you need to do is to hit enter. That will bring the startup menu. Now press F1 key and here we are going to the BIOS and inside the BIOS we are moving to config. Please make sure that you've got USB switched on in a UEFI mode. And next thing to check next thing to check is a security boot it should be disabled as it is on mine and next thing we are doing we are going to start up so over here if you look at UFI legacy boot we want to have both over there and UEFI will be going first. We're disabling boot and make sure that our USB stick is the first device to boot from. So let's move it to the top. Let's go to restart, exit saving changes, confirm what you are doing. And now it should boot from the from the pen drive. It will load our uh, Netware Cloud OS. So here you go, there's a logo, cloud ready. And now uh, operating system is booting from the, from the pen drive. You can see that there is a diode flashing on my pen drive. So it's loading itself from the pen drive now. Okay, and we've got a welcome screen, which is a good thing. We can see the Chrome logo. Let's go with some language options. Um, I live in UK, so I'll just switch it to United Kingdom to have my localization right. I've got English keyboard, so I'll uh, switch it to English keyboard. And let's click OK. And yeah, I've quickly <laughs> right, so we've got yeah. So uh, there's a accessibility as well. Some option. We can have a spoken feedback, a large mouse cursor, um, some other options. Um, I'll just leave them as they are because I'm fine with them. So let's click on let's go icon now. Um, here we can connect to my network. So I'll just quickly type my password. Connect. You can see that it's now connecting to the network. Yeah, information about uh, anonymous data collection um, is a personal preference. I am fine with that. So we've got the spinning wheel and now we can sign into our Chromebook. So I'll go with my Google account. And the password. Another spinning wheel. And here we go. How the screen? We can take it all or get started. 
Right, so here we are on the thank you screen uh, where uh, Cloudready are just happy that we have installed the operating system. So now let's install the system on our hard drive because, well, I like to run it from the USB, it's fine. Uh, however, sometimes I would like to remove it from, I would like to remove my USB and actually run the system from, from the hard drive. So we are clicking on the clock over here. And now there's this button, install OS. So I'll just click on that. And here we've got our installer. There's a little warning over here telling that we have to make sure that uh, we are not losing anything. This will wipe everything on this laptop. So before you do it, uh, just please, please make sure you've got everything backed up. You are not losing any data. So let's click on install cloud ready button. Now it tells it's ready to install. Uh, there's a last reminder telling that after this point we'll just lose everything over. So I'm okay with that. Let's go and install the car already. So now it says that installation is in process. And at this point the operating system is uh, downloading itself from the internet, I believe. And it's installing itself on, on uh, this laptop. So. After this installation process, it should be running itself from the hard drive. It says here that this process should take no longer than 20 minutes. Right, something has happened. That will just uh, switch the screen off. And now, it seems to be starting from the hard drive already. So there's a cloud ready logo. I can hear the hard drive working, so it's definitely doing something over there. And okay, we've got the welcome screen back again. Let's go with uh, let's go. Again, I'm just signing to my network. Let's click on connect. I'm just completely amazed how snappy this process of installing the system is comparing to, for example, when you are installing the Windows. Oh, it's still connecting. Right. Yeah, again, uh, unenable data collection. Now it's checking for updates. And I can sign into my Chromebook. So let's go my Google. Account. and the password so now it seems to be uh, working from the hard drive Right, we've got a little thank you over here. So I can click on get started. And yay, since we've got our operating system ready to go, everything installed, it's on uh, our hard drive. So what I'll do now, I'll just uh, remove my little pen drive yeah so let's try to restart it and see, let's see if it will boot up from the hard drive now so it's switched off let's yeah and yes our USB drive is here operating system is on the hard drive and it's starting itself from the hard drive. As you can see that my Chromebook right now is actually running from the hard drive. My USB is uh, over there. So it's like completely standalone computer right now. And yeah, here we go. Brilliant. 
so yeah we've got fully working Chrome OS right now um, Yeah, so basically everything is working. Uh, we've got all the devices, everything up and going. You got my Google account over there. So yeah, here we go. That's how to install the Chrome OS on a Lenovo X131e. Right, so I'll just switch it off. Yeah, it should done. Yeah, so now the laptop has restarted itself. I took out my pen drive out. And we can see the cloud ready logo. It's switching on. It's running completely on its own. There's no um there is no USB drive. Right, let's log in. Yeah, it's loading now. Right, so here we go. It works like a charm. We've got a Google Drive, some app note shell and other things. Chrome browser is running, there's a nice desktop background. So, yeah, that's our Chrome OS on a Lenovo ThinkPad Chromebook. Fully working, installed, and everything. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and see you next one.